What is up, RC enthusiasts? I'm pretty sure you could tell right in front of you what you see right here. Checked out this box. So here you go. Axial Rift unboxing. Boom! Check that sucker out. Look at that thing. That thing's ginormous, almost six inch tires. Look at the flex on that guy. That is mean. If you can flex hard enough to put a controller under there, that's mean flex right there. Now this is supposed to be a 10 scale, but it's a rock bouncer. It's a brushless rock bouncer and it's huge. Open diffs all around and it's got a center diff on this one too. 2200 kV brushless motor, 130 amp ESC, all spectrum. So really, really good setup right here. And from what I've been seeing on this thing, man, this thing looks like it's a blast. So I can't wait to take it out. But for now, let me just show you guys how much bigger this is than a regular 10 scale. Here's my daily driver. It's my basher rig, the 10 scale that I've been trying to break. Well, not technically trying to break it, but I literally been driving this around forever. And the only thing I've damaged is that front steering connecting rod. And that's about it. Everything else still runs perfect on this. And I do have a video on this rig. This right here has been a really, really great crawler for me. I mean, for the price, nothing's been wrong with it. It's crawls like a dream for what it is you just need some wheel weights other than that great little truck too but if you check this thing out right here look at that this thing sits pretty much as high as a 10 scale crawler and this is 10 scale too but a lot more ground clearance in the belly big giant tires and of course those giant shocks right there so that gives it its rock bouncing abilities and absorb anything you can throw at it hopefully and that's a DX3 that it comes with right there, the Spectrum DX3. Just DX3 right there. That's the third channel switch right there. You have AVC, you turn it off and turn it up. Then you got brake rate. I don't know, I don't I don't notice a difference between the drag brake when I turn it up and down. And you got your steering and throttle trims. And you got your limiter down here. Let me move the tire out of the way. Well, there's your 50%, 75%, limit, 100%, throttle reversing and normal, steering reversing and normal. And you see those four little lights right there where it says smart battery level. Those four little dots are there to tell you your battery level if you're using a smart battery. So you have to be using a smart compatible battery. If not, you could just use a EC5 battery to connect onto here. Or you use the IC5 connectors from Spectrum if you're gonna use the smart batteries. Well, there you go. Other than that, check that giant sucker out. That thing is huge. I believe it's 5.9 something, so it's a 6 inch tire pretty much, and it's a Super Swamper TSL bogger that's already been, you know, pre-modified from the factory, so it looks like a cut bogger. Pretty cool. And you have your metal axle cover right there. It's also a bearing holder. Your Spectrum S614S waterproof servo. This thing is open diff in the rear, open diff in the center, and open diff up front. You can buy the lockers for them, but they have million weight oil in them. And from what I've seen on videos of this thing running, I don't think you really need it. So yeah, the only thing that I ordered so far for this is the rear sway bar that's supposed to mount on there. It's supposed to mount on there. And go down to here so yes yeah, that's, that's the only thing I ordered because you know it's way bar you're definitely gonna want that because the torque twist you see the torque twist in all the videos on this thing man what a rig guys look at that look at the detail driver passenger oh yeah and the 130 amp spectrum ESC right here that's poking out looking all pimp up there the drive the passenger's got a navigation screen So yeah, man, really, really nice rig. I was going into the store to buy a Super Baja Ray, and I thought to myself, well, aren't you into this crawler scene right now and rock hoppers and whatnot? Might as well get myself one of these. And when I found out it was brushless, I was sold pretty much. Let's take a look at it from the back here. There's your on and off switch right there. It's mounted onto the transmission. That's pretty dark so we can't see the transmission back there, but it's it's there. Here's that 
fake fuel cell that you could actually open up and put weights in here or you could probably put like a light controller or something if you want to put lights on this thing long beefy shocks right there nice aluminum body with plastic top mounts and collars but the rest is aluminum with stoppers right there now this thing can run three or four s lipo and some people have gotten this thing all the way up to 47 miles an hour on forest so that's pretty fast for a rock hopper insane fast oh yeah check out those faux disc brakes don't they look awesome they actually do spin too that's awesome and they say axial on them i'm not sure if i can get that in there but that caliper actually says axial on it now i heard these axles are problematic but you know, I don't ever plan to really do 4S on this. Maybe I'll try it one time, but for now, even on my test drive, I'm going to do only 3S on this thing because this is my personal rig, and I like it, and I want to try to keep it as nice as possible. So I'm not really going to bash it too hard. I mean, of course, I'm going to do rock bouncing with it, but I'm not going to purposely try to send it hardcore just to break it. But yeah, we'll go ahead and check out the running video on this. Hopefully it's fun, and let's see how this thing rocks. The rocks. Check it out, guys. Well guys, so far, I'm in love with this thing, and that thing. That thing is bad. These things are bad. No, it acts like it did. That's full battery. And that's full, it's because it's full of snow. Roll over. Oh no, wait, you know what? I don't know if I want to get this dirty right now. I don't know. I'll never have to hit that puddle. Wah! Straight on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing's nuts. That thing is sick. You want the ultimate rock basher? That has to be it right there. Ready? Alright. Lifting it up and Baja Ray. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I, I turned it down. I don't want to break the gears. There's no slipper clutch on it. It actually came lower than that out the factory. Here's the Wraith with an FJ body. Look at that sickness right there. Yeah. Let's do a size comparison. Wraith spawn versus Ray uh, Rift. Keep on forgetting the name of this thing. There you go. Let's put it side by side so you guys can see the differences. They're pretty close in length. Tire size is definitely bigger on the Rift. But man, these are both trucks I don't, wouldn't mind owning ever. Look at that custom FJ right there. Rip it time. Haha, <laughs> nice!
<laughs> well, there you go, guys. The Axial Rift. What a sweet rig right here. Sorry I couldn't find any rocks this time. A lot of snow. We just bashed around. It was pretty flat where we were. So, on the next run, I promise, I'll give you guys some hill climbs with this thing, hopefully. And some good bash videos. So, for now, I do like it. It handled pretty well. It is pretty fun. It did start making, like, a really weird clicking noise. And people said it was, like, a differential sound. To me, the differential still is kind of smooth. So... The sound kind of came from the sides for me, like the maybe the CV shafts, but nothing's broken. Everything still runs smooth, and it only does it at full punch when one of the wheels comes up, and then you, when this one gets spinning faster than the others, then you hear like a little clicking. But I've heard it from other videos, so hopefully it's not an issue. If it is, hopefully Horizon will take care of me. They are a really great company, and this is the reason I buy their stuff a lot, especially with their helicopters and planes. I do have a lot of Horizon stuff from them because their customer service is almost second to none. And these things right here, the quality... It's there, man. These things are great. Look how great this thing looks. And you can't go wrong with one of these little suckers. Well, it's not that little compared to that guy right there. That one's next. Well, for now, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, be safe out there. And don't forget, go run that RC.